Warrior lead is five with Azubuki set to shoot a couple free throws. Matt Steinmetz on the baseline. And Matt Brandon Bass, Kenyon Martin, these other players really hurting the Warriors the last two nights. Roddy Turiaf, Paul Millsap. I mean, it's a long list of athletic front court players that give the Warriors a lot of trouble. And you wonder who the Warriors have to counter that. And one name that constantly comes up is Brandon Wright. Again tonight, Don Nelson was asked about Brandon Wright and whether he was going to play, and he said he probably would play tonight because he liked some of the matchups against Dallas. Now, of course, Brandon hasn't played tonight, and once again, Nelson was asked why he hasn't played more this season. And Nelson said, look, we made a decision as a franchise early in the season that we wanted to make the playoffs, and that's the way we were going to go about things. And he said that one of the reasons that they're in this playoff race is because that's the approach they took. He just feels like playing Brandon Wright may have cost him a few games along the line. And, uh, you know, two or three games cost it at this point, and you're not in the playoff race. That's Nelson's story, and he's sticking to it. And boy, man, he gets asked about that time and time again. He chuckles about it now. Well, down the road, Brandon Wright's going to be a monster factor for the Warriors. He and Beadrench are going to provide some length and wingspan. And both left-handed, too. And both good runners, shot blockers. they, they got to improve little jump shots. And Brandon Wright is getting better at that. But this, right now, Don Nelson wants experience. Seven of ten free throwing in the fourth. Zazabuki splits a pair. There's nothing wrong with your TV set. They're actually doing the wave at Oracle. We've not seen that this season. Rodgers comes over. Wide open Josh Howard and not the man to leave. He'd Point night for Josh Howard, and they're jumping away from the hottest Maverick. Just because he threw the ball doesn't mean you have to just rotate away. Momentarily, they had three men in his vicinity, and the next minute, or the next second, there were none. Well, Dallas can smell it right now. The Warriors are absolutely playing with fire. Barron from deep, and a huge three. Barron Davis with 21 before the game. He Barron just finally just gets fed up and says, okay, I'll do it. And he's so capable. Now Barron's got Josh Howard this time down. Howard rolling and finishing. Beatrice is coming over and he's concerned about the three-second defensive violation. He's got to step out of the lane but stay on the same, same side as Howard. They did it beautifully last night. The Warriors do get to triple digits. They keep that streak alive. Monte, beautiful deal. What a play. They thought he was going to come off a screen, come from down to up. Instead, Terry got hung up. He went back door. Dallas going to keep riding Howard here as they normally would Nowitzki. And the Bass. Work on Beadrench. Working inside. Another foul. He's fouled and he puts it in again. Brandon Bass is coming. Has a new career high. He is coming alive every moment here, playing with a tremendous amount of confidence. This, he looked like he'd been around for 10 years. His career high was 19 until this bucket went down. He's got 20, and he's got 10 in the fourth quarter. On his arms, was, his arm was arced over, and he got the contact, and he's so strong it didn't bother him at all. So Brandon Bass with 21 on 6 of 11 shooting and 9 of 12 free throwing, and it's back to 4 again. Kid fades, fires, rims it out. But fortunately, Brandon Bass touched it, and the Warriors get a new 24 on the ball. Inside four minutes, and the tension palpable. And the Warriors have enough. Back end of a back to back. Got to have to have a game against the Mavs. No hurry here. Got a new 24. Azabuki for three. Zabuki with a dozen. He's played 40 minutes tonight. He got that one up in the air. And that helped a lot. Give it a better chance. Josh Howard, they want Bass again. Beadrench not letting him get the ball. Now on the repost. Jack 
Jackson an excuse me foul on Josh Howard, but that'll be free throws. You Jackson will pick up his first personal. You don't want to shoot yourself in the foot. Okay. You converge inside. Azabuki got this up in the air. Last night he missed so many threes because they were a little bit flat hitting the front of the rim. And to be precise, he was 0-5 from three-point range last night. What an amazing game for Josh Howard. Eight of eight free throwing, 33 points, eight rebounds. Free throwing, just getting better and better. All aspects of his game and the all-star team a year ago. Who's getting the shots right now that Novitsky usually takes? And Howard bearing them both. Lead at five with three and a half left. Well, as I said before, the Warriors better keep scoring. Credit Dallas for controlling the tempo in the second half. And the Warriors trying to grind one out. Aaron just kind of surveying the situation. Dante on Kidd hanging. Kidd played him perfectly. Beatrice the rebound, and he's fouled. What defense on Monte Ellis to make him and force him into that kind of shot. Monte and Kidd having a nice conversation. He had to double clutch, hang, and had no chance. Beatrice. Big play, wasn't it? Andres, who is. How about him from the line tonight? I'm not going to jinx him. He had drenched 13 and 13, coming off the 17 and 17 last night. Your 21 year old Beadrench with 13, your 22 year old Ellis with 28. And he's perfect from the line. I knew you were going to wait. Smart move. Broadcasting jinx. You're not going to put that one out. Give us his numbers. Six of six free throwing. How about that? Terry's one of five from three-point range. They've been lucky in that department. Howard at the elbow has Beatrice on a mismatch. He'll back it out. And cycle it to Terry for three. Oh, he's one for six. Yes. It's very fortunate Terry has not been hot. So now, working clock and score here. Monte to Azabuki again. He comes through. in double figures. Harrington and Azabuki have combined for 28 tonight. A different night than Denver. And the Warrior lead at 9. Mandatory timeout in a game they have to have. And the Warriors push it to 9. And Kalena Azabuki has been big down the